D.L. Hughley breaks the news. CNN, Saturday night at 10, Sunday night at 11. Republican Congressman Ron Paul. Ron, you ran for president. Uh, when you dropped out, you did not uh, back John McCain. Um, obviously, you have some issues with uh, some members of your party, right? Right, yeah. When they don't live up to their promises, you know, if, if they call themselves fiscal conservatives and then they double the size of the budget right. and the deficit, right. then I, I can't with a clear conscience support them. So you, you were against uh, uh, George Bush's big spending, too. Oh, a absolutely. And certainly I was against his foreign policy and his violation of personal civil liberties, the, uh, you know, the privacy that he was invading and the secrecy of government. I, di I didn't like any of that. Uh, I'm sort of an old-fashioned conservative that believes in the Constitution. Now, you, you voted against, also voted against the President Obama's stimulus package. Obviously, you had uh, right. reservations about that. Why, why, why was that? Well, I don't think it's going to do any good. Uh, most of that money so far hasn't helped the little guy it's going to Wall Street. Uh, if they'd have taken all that money and just sent checks out, we'd have been better off. I would like to get the money in the hands of the people. I don't trust the government, and I don't trust the politicians and the bureaucrats because they deal out the, uh, bail out their buddies. What we want is to get more money in the hands of the people. That's why I would just suspend the income tax, and uh, everybody would get a pay raise immediately. And there still are a few people that are employed, so this would be a big boost to the economy. And the people make the decisions rather than bailing out uh, corporate giants and banks and then they take their money and they get billions of dollars worth of bonuses. It's absolutely out of control. But, but, but Ron, okay, I, I, I too was against the, the bailout, but uh, some uh, aspects of the, of the stimulus package I see, some, you know, like as far as extending unemployment benefits to people, making those a little longer uh, and, and things like that, other, other attributes of the stimulus package. I agree with some of those, but the bailout, I, I, I have to say, I, I was totally against it. I didn't think that we should have bailed yeah. out the GM. I, I thought some of the banks, I, I could see how that was necessary. But honestly, what do we do then? Well, you have to, find, you have to understand how we got into this mess, and we got into this mess because, because we spent like we, there was no tomorrow. We all right. spent like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, you know, we elected the Republicans to back off from big government, right. and they doubled the size of everything and ran up the deficit. So we spent too much, we borrowed too much, and then we started putting pressure on the Fed, and the Fed acts on their own, and they started inflating, that is creating credit out of thin air. They're the ones who really causes the boom, and they literally bring about the bust. You know, after, after the Depression ended, after the World War II, the Spending went down two thirds and taxes went down one third, and that's when the depression finally ended in the late 40s. Wow! I mean, you know, the the amazing thing is that you almost you 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 don't seem like a Republican to me, like that I've ever heard. You seem so reasonable. Uh, <laughs> no, honestly, you really do. You 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 seem to make sense, which I I, I don't attribute to very many pol politicians. Wait, wait, but, okay, go ahead. <laughs> but 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 but. The government does has to have to do something. I think we're very panicked. I think the, yeah. uh, the, the, the electorate is clearly nervous. The government has to do something to kind of lay their fears or, or we'll never get on track, right? Yeah, and, and that is true, and we could if we had some sensible people here. And I, even though I am a strict constitutionalist, I don't believe in most of these programs, I still have an interim uh, set of priorities. I would cut 400, 500 billion dollars from overseas. I don't think it's, it makes any sense to blow up bridges in Iraq and then pay to rebuild them to no bid contracts where the corporations never rebuild. I say spend all that money back here at home. We could save enough money by just changing our foreign policy, cutting down on our deficit, and still take care of people that we have taught to be so dependent. We spend over a trillion dollars a year maintaining the American empire, but nobody wants to give up on the empire. Wow. Not even this new administration. They're pursuing the Bush policies in the Middle East, and they're not cutting back. And yesterday I gave a speech on the House floor, and I literally bet the troops will not be out of Iraq in 2011. Right. Because the, because we're going to have a big amnesty and we're going to have 56 military bases. And believe me, that is very offensive to the people of Iraq. Ron, you are <laughs> you're too human to be a Republican. Uh, <laughs> now, I, I was on Bill Maher uh, a, a couple, about a year and a half ago or so, and you came on, and you, uh, you came on uh, by, by satellite, uh, and you were explaining about the Civil War, how it didn't need to be fought. Uh, and I was at first like, he's, he's saying it didn't need to be fought. But when you explained it to me, I thought it was one of the most pragmatic, reasonable things I've ever heard a politician say. Well, you know, the other nations in the West that had slavery all got rid of slavery without a civil war. 
and the motivation behind the Civil War had more to do than just uh, the slavery right. issue. So we lost 600,000 Americans and uh, a lot of residual, probably some left over today, they're right. still residual. Right. So you could have, with a, a full, small fraction of the money and no deaths, just bought the slaves, you know, and 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 and, and freed the slaves. That's what that's what Britain did in some other nations, and that just makes a lot more sense than uh, <laughs> fighting a war and killing each other. I tell I you what, I like this war as a solution to our problems. So. You make way too much sense. You can't be a Republican. I say it again. Well, Are you going to run again in 2000 uh, in 2012? Well, I might be running from somebody or running for Congress <laughs> or who who knows what. <laughs> Thank you, Congressman Ron Paul. It was a pleasure, man.